Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. To create a custom gradient, tap the G key in order to select the gradient tool. Then use the left or right brackets to move through the different styles, including linear, radial, angle, reflected, and diamond. Photoshop ships with several different gradients, which we can load by clicking within the gradient and using the gear icon. But for now, let's create our own gradient. I'll start with this one. And in order to change a color, just double click inside any of the color stops and use the color picker. To duplicate a color stop, hold the Option on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag. To delete a color stop, simply drag it away from the gradient. To change the position, drag the color stop, but to change the midpoint, drag on the small diamond. Click above the gradient in order to add an opacity stop and use the opacity slider to change opacity. To delete it, drag it away from the gradient. Photoshop also supports noise gradients. Here we can change the roughness value of the different colors, as well as the colors that we choose to include. Here I'll limit the hue, as well as saturation and brightness values. I can click Randomize to see additional options. I'll give the gradient a name, click New, and then OK. I can now access that gradient from any of the tools in Photoshop that uses gradients. So I'll double click on my gradient fill layer, select the gradient that we just created, and then change some of the options like style, scale, I'll see what the reverse looks like, and then reposition the midpoint, all of which are non-destructive changes and can be edited at any time.